So far, we have only talked about custom middlewares, how to create them and how to use them. But ASP.NET Core also provides a lot of built-in middleware and we are going to talk about some of them in this course in the later lectures. But since we are talking about middlewares in this section, I want to make one point clear and that is about the order in which we should use some of the built-in middlewares. So we have learned that middleware in ASP.NET Core gets executed in the order in which they are defined or specified in the code. So it becomes very important that we specify the middleware in the right order Otherwise, some of the middleware might not work as expected and we might face some unwanted behavior. In this slide, you can see some of the common predefined middlewares which is used in most of the ASP.NET Core projects. And Microsoft recommends using the middleware in the same order as shown in the screen. This ensures that all these middleware function executes properly and execution of one middleware does not affect other middleware. First of all, we should enable the exception handler middleware in case of development environment. And we will learn about exception handler middleware in the future lectures of this course. After that, it is recommended to enable HSTS middleware. HSTS here stands for HTTP Strict Transport Security. Basically, it enforces the browser to use HTTPS protocol rather than HTTP protocol. Then we have HTTPS redirection middleware. In case if the browser sends HTTP request, then automatically the same request will be redirected with HTTPS protocol using this middleware. Then in order to use static files from your ASP.NET Core application, we can use use static file middleware, which is also a built-in middleware. Basically, if you want to serve static files like CSS, images, etc., we can use this middleware. Now this middleware should be called after HTTPS redirection middleware. Then you can enable routing, after that, if you want, you can also enable course, but this is optional. Then you can use middlewares for authentication and authorization. So these are some built-in middlewares. And after we have used all built-in middlewares, then only we should specify our custom middlewares. And after that, your controller endpoint can work. That means when you make a request to a URL, to a controller endpoint, all these middlewares will be applied on that request in the same order in which they are declared. And then the request will be handled by the controller and response will be sent to the browser. As of now in this course, we have not covered some of the topics like routing, authentication, authorization, etc. But we are going to learn about them in future lectures. And at that time, we will learn about these built-in middlewares in great detail. For now, let's go to the documentation of ASP.NET Core. And in there, here I have opened this middleware section. If I scroll down, here you can see in the documentation also you can find the proper middleware execution order. So you can also read this documentation in order to get a better idea. Now in the documentation it is also mentioned that you have full control over how to reorder existing middlewares or inject new custom middlewares as necessary for your scenarios. So you can reorder your middleware in the way you want. But you should always follow this order. Otherwise if you reorder your middleware which is not in this order. In that case, your middleware will of course work, but you might get some unexpected behavior from your application. You might get some unexpected results. Okay, so if you want to get more clarity on how to order your middleware, you can go through this documentation. Here, you will get some better idea. So everything is explained here. Okay, so here you can see it says that the order, the middleware components are added in the program.cs file defines the order in which the middleware component are invoked on requests and the reverse order for the response. The order is critical for security, performance and functionality. And here you can see how ASP.NET Core added middlewares in the typical recommended order. So here you can see how you can use these built-in middlewares in a given order. As we learned, we should use this use static files middleware after we have called use HTTPS redirection middleware. So here you can go through this documentation and you can learn more about middleware order. Alright, so this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.